All right, it's race day. There is a long line to get into the park. Usually we camp. This time we stay at a hotel so I get some sleep. But there's a long line. It's 5.10 already. Race starts at 6. I still got some stuff to do beforehand, but uh, just gonna get through this, this line and then we'll be in the park. It's race day. And uh, I'm excited, ready to go. Just gotta get through this line. Made it here to Rocky Raccoon. That line was crazy, but made it. It's not raining too bad, it's just a little sprinkle. But I gotta go pick up my uh, chip. It's an ankle little chip thing. And go, it's already pretty, pretty late. It's almost, it's almost go time. We have a little bit more time to go. Yeah. And then we'll start yeah, yeah, yeah. the race. Yeah, we are too. That'll go on either end right here. Thank you. Are the bathrooms available for us? Or no? Did you use the bathrooms? Okay. Hi right, guys, it's go time. It's been hectic this morning with the rain, with the traffic, with everything else. I forgot my 360 camera, but I have my GoPro and uh, 100 miles. That's what we're gonna do today, 100 miles. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go! Let's get it, Chris. Good luck, man. Yes, sir. Good luck I'm to you. Do uh, okay. You got you got shirtless? No. Guys <laughs> yeah, got good luck, brother. Good luck. Let's go. You may be wondering who I am. I'm Jeremy Fermo, the Go Corner on YouTube. I'm a 250-pound runner trying to do my best to finish this race. I never thought I would run a 100 miler in my life, not even a marathon. Whenever I signed up for my first half marathon, I thought I could never go twice the distance. Then I did that, then I signed up for my first 50K, first 50 miler, first 100K, and after the 100K, I said I would never do a 100 miler. But here I am, running the Rocky Raccoon 100. And it is drenched, it's drenched. From the first mile, we were already in the mud and we were in it. But I was sticking to my plan, and that was to go an easy pace, run, walk, like I've been training for, and just do that. No matter how many people pass me, I was just stick to my plan and do just that. All right, almost at the first aid station. This is a swampy mess. Been a uh, one mud pile for the next. I'm glad I wore the waterproof socks. I still feel like my feet are getting a little damp though. But we're almost at the first aid station. Mile 3.5. So I think that's at four miles. So far, so good. Took off my jacket. It got warm. Not raining too bad, but the trails are saturated. Lots of mud. Freaking a river we had to go through. It's got knee deep at one spot. Fucking awesome! Woo! What? Right in it. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Oh, 
Let's get it. That's what we came here for, right? Oh, those waterproof socks do not survive that. Yeah, what the hell? Who cares, man? What's up, man? How's it going? Hey, you doing well? Water? I don't think I have chips. Chips. Got some chips. Now I go back to the river. What's up, Chris? What's up, man? As Chris saw a few of my people out on the course, we're almost at the turnaround over here. Five, almost six miles. 5.6 probably. Muddy, mud, mud. Oh my goodness, it's like chocolate shake over here. Goodness gracious. My shoes just got muddy. There's Troy. How you doing, Troy? Good, good. Doing 100K? Yeah, yeah I'm about uh, 10 and a half miles in right now. So, gotta get pace. I think I'm in second place so far. But <laughs> I've got another that. 50 miles to go, so <laughs> we'll see how that shakes out. But uh, feeling good. This weather's perfect. I don't mind a little rain going. Your feet wet yet? Oh, yeah, those shakes. I've been running through. All right, I've got deep uh, river yeah. that's about three feet deep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah. I'm soaked all the way, so <laughs> no problem. How you doing? Good, I don't think I'm going to have a stop and take care of a blister at the next aid station. Yeah. I feel it coming on top of my foot. Got a nice little blister that's coming on, so everything's wet. So I'll take care of this. Eight point eight two. Is that nothing? Alright, made it to the next A station. Just about mile 14. This is damnation. Nice little downhill before you hit it. There's also hot glue behind me. Awesome. Good hot food. This is like chorizo tacos. Short. That was a good. That was a good. That was a good stop. I stopped a long time for the last one with that blister. Feet are still soaked. I'm pretty sure the water socks are holding in. The waterproof socks are holding in the the uh, water <laughs> a little bit. They drain out a little bit, but there's a little bit of mushiness in there. Sticking to the plan, easy peasy, 20 mile loop, six hours, what I want to be in. And yeah, just a relentless, relentless forward progress with some tacos. Hi, 
just repeating mile 18, two more miles so I hit the uh, start finish line. Look how freaking flooded it is. There is no like not getting into the water. You have to embrace it because there's no way you can get over it, jump over it, go to the sides. It's either mud or water. So my feet are wet. Like you'll see at the end of this bridge, you can't do anything about it. You just have to embrace it. Well, that's what I'm doing today. Embracing the suck and embracing this 100 miler and embracing the water. Just hitting back at the uh, main stop. Actually, way ahead of time. I was planning on doing six hour loops. It's gonna be like a five hour, 30, 35 minute loop. A little bit fast. You need to, uh, thank you. You need to slow it down. Slow it down a little bit. I don't even know, I'm running. Just walk. But so far, it feels good. Everything feels good. I feel like uh, once the scale 10, once you Legs still feel good, feet feel good despite all the water, but I'm gonna get some more food, change shoes probably, socks, and do all that stuff. Just got back. Run walk. That's all it is. As long as my feet stay good, not gonna work. I'll be good. Jesus, look at this fucking start line. Ah, oh, some bacon. Mm -hmm. And then there's like super like slatty parts. Do you have a, yeah, look how like white my feet are. They're like yeah. drenched. Dead towel? Yes, yeah. it's your towel. Can you get up the leg? There you go, that's good. Thanks, Tony. No problem. Look how white my feet? <laughs> uh, my back hurts. <laughs> oh. yeah, put, put it on the ground. <laughs> yeah. Actually, faster than uh, than you supposed you to be. I don't want that. That's <laughs> nice. We'll see how these work. These probably don't have traction either, but it's okay. I like these shoes. These got me through 100k. So just left the main aid station and feeling good. I uh, changed my shoes to my Nike Air Pegasus Trail 3. These are the shoes that got me through the 100K. So it feels good to have shoes that aren't soaking wet. So we're at mile 23, 22. It's a lot warmer. It's like in the 70s now. So I'm definitely feeling the heat. Uh, still going to rock one pace, a little bit slower. I need to change my music. I was still podcast, but that's getting me to have low energy, and I need some more energy. I still haven't taken caffeine, so waiting that, waiting for that until the end or closer to the end. But a little low energy right now. I think I got a restroom. Going off course a bit to take care of business. Now they go to a real restroom than the porta putties at the A stations. All the freaking mud. Ton of people who watch my channel 
out on the course. So I thought it was good. Tell me, at the last guy just asked me if I'm sticking to the plan. I am for the most part going a little slower this this uh, mile. My shoes were dry pretty much up to this point. This part is where my shoes get wet. My socks get wet. It's actually not as bad as it was earlier in the day. I think it's a tailwind. Yeah. Thank you. Go get some food. Terry Todd. Fish to do this. Although this water sucks because you get wet, it feels good. It is cold, so it feels good on the legs. Now, everything's soaked. Now, it doesn't matter if I step in a puddle or not. more of this clay it's so slippery when you're going down this you literally just slide oh, so at this point in the race everything is getting to me the clay is getting to me the mud is getting to me every time you slipped on that clay it took more energy out of you than just walking forward and also that sun and heat was also getting to me. The good thing is that I formed alliances on the route. I saw two brothers that we kept on running into. You've seen them on this video. And they asked me what I was doing. And I told them I was doing a run walk, a one minute and 30 second walk with a 30 second run. And they asked if they could stick with me. And I said, let's go. These are the guys I'm running with right now we, we teamed up marco what's your running story i started with half marathons got into full marathons and my oldest boy ran a hundred and then here i am running this hundred well, so why do you run mainly to keep in shape as uh, my body's getting in the older years it <laughs> helps keep uh the youth looking body yeah! Look what we Ooh. found. We found a Jeremy. Yeah. What's up, guys? What's up, bro? What's up? I'm gonna go change my socks. All right, we'll see you over there. Okay. Yeah. You look good. Go. Yeah, my waterproof socks are full of water. Right. So I'm gonna go change that. You know, during the ultra marathon, you really are never alone. There's so many great volunteers. And during this stop, my only goal was to remove the water out of my socks and change to another pair of socks. That's when another runner who actually watches some of my videos recognized me and helped me clean my feet and did whatever he could to help me out. There's a lot of music in the background, so that's why I can't really show what's going on. But you can see the love that all the trail running community has in this part of the video. Terry. If you're out there, 
you're awesome. Thanks, guys. Sandwich. Hey, man. 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 At this part of the race, it is the hillier area, but the guys follow me. Whatever I did, when I wanted to run, they ran. When I walked, they walked. And that's what we did all the way up to the next A station. They got more trees of uh, taco things? No, I ain't picky, I ain't picky. And there's hot food on the other side too. That's got, like there's bacon and sausage or whatever in there too. After the aid station, we knew that we only had a little bit more time until sundown. So we decided to put our heads down, go one foot in front of the other, and go through all this mud and all the routes and just keep moving forward to the start finish line so we could complete the second loop. And that's what we did. Bad, huh? uh, yeah, it's just walk in the park. This is easier than when I did it, huh? It's my brother Willie. <laughs> easier, yeah. yeah. That's what I heard, that's everyone saying. Yeah. This is the easiest rock you ever could ever. Like your feet wet the whole time? Good. Made it back before sunset. <laughs> We were a little worried. Thank you. How far are we going? Four, 60 more miles. 60 little miles. 60 little miles. Thank you. The A team over here. <laughs> Just in case your feet aren't muddy before you go see your people. Exactly. What food y'all got? Well, a little bit of everything. Yeah. Ah. Hey, hey, hey. How's it going? How you doing? You, doing right, man? you need anything? I'm gonna get some uh, bacon. Bacon? Bacon, bacon, bacon quesadillas? I'm not quesadillas. I made them with love. Quesadillas. Sorry, quesadillas aren't going down for me. Okay, okay, no, Appreciate no it though. Yeah. Yeah. Water, yeah. Bacon. Uh, yeah. Teamed up with those guys. Got us through that loop. I was quiet. It was a little dark time. And they found me just at the right time because I started uh, cheering up. And, uh, they followed my pace. We got it done. Here, sit down. What's up, Jeremy? Okay, come on, sit down. Here, can you put this up? Yeah. Here, I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. You got it? Yeah, I get it. It's easier. <laughs> that cherry guy was putting the socks on me. He was Oh, I'm like I'm feeling cold. We put that stuff all over me. Do you want to? Do you want to wear the jacket? No, it's because the. I mean, yeah. No, you put like oh, cold bio freeze on your legs. This is so cold. Jackets in your bag. Yeah, my trekking poles. Are Anything you know? You yeah, the trekking poles. I think uh, Brian uh, has them. Hi guys, appreciate it. Hey guys. Okay, get it, get it, get it. Good job, Jeremy. Come on, see you in the next loop. Now with my trekking poles, it becomes harder for me to film because my hands are full. But the trekking poles were needed. I used them to help my legs move forward. 
I was still feeling good. I knew that my time was still on point to the point where I wanted it to be, but I felt that I was closing in on the back end of my paces. So I was trying to speed up as much as I can. Is there coffee? Yes, we have you want coffee, Jeremy? Yes, please. Noodles? It's not a Starbucks, but you know, it's a, it has caffeine, that's all I need. Thank you. You are uh, 46? Yeah, 46. Or 44. 44. So we'll see you two more times? Two more times. You'll see me two more times. I will be here. It's hot, okay? Okay. I'm going to dilute it a little bit. Some water. <laughs> 50 miles, baby. Halfway there. Halfway there, guys. Still feeling good. Legs a little tired, though. Still feeling good. Poles are helping for sure. Yeah, I do need to change my socks. Yeah, I got your socks right here. You gonna sit over there? Needs, need, I brought some gloves too. I don't, need, I don't need gloves. Okay. Let me know if you change your mind. Uh, okay. Let me help you off. Uh, okay, here, here's the socks. Let me go get your shoes off. Let me go over. Yeah, that's fine. What's that? I'm fine. No, get the shoes off first, and then you'll. Let's yeah. clean you up. Let, let's, get, let's switch your socks off. And then we'll. Let's see here. We'll just raise this up. Let me just. Do you just raise this up. We'll just raise it up. All right, okay. Think, I don't think you raise that. Okay, no, no, I'll, I'll, I'll take it off. Don't worry. Feeling good. Feeling good. Feel strong. Those, those poles are helping. Don't let me forget this, okay? I know. I'll, I'll, I'll remind you. Let's get those shoes off. <clears throat> let me just like grab some water and just. That's fine. I'll just wipe my, 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 my stuff. I'm gonna get wet anyway. It's gonna get. It's gonna last for another five minutes, and then we'll be wet. My feet will be wet again. Let's just dry them out a little bit. Okay, I'm cleaning them out a bit. Let me put some uh, trail toes on there. I am getting a little bit. It's okay, we got time. Okay. No, no rush, no rush, no rush. How well, you train? Train? Train how you freaking run. That's how I did it. That's what I did. Yep. Run, walk. I put in the muck, the muck. You know, I put in the train. All you gotta do is just. Finish. Execute it. Do it. The race is just all, you're almost done. This is the one that's bothering me. My little toe rubbing on my big toe. Other toe. I think I've eaten too much food. But that's good, I guess. <laughs> More food and no food. I need to warm up. It's cold. Yeah, you're cold. You're not cold. Get him running. Get him running. Yeah, you're not going to be running down now. <laughs> <laughs> you're still going to be no, no. walking base. We're, 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 I'll follow your pace. But we, we, I, the, here, I'm a. Sooner we move, the more, the, this the is what I we're get. doing right here. Okay. <laughs> well, you, you can have this. We are walking. Yeah. For 1:30 or, or whatever. See, this is a walk. It's like a one, I think 1.30 or whatever. And the other one is, no, yeah, this is a walk and the other one's a run. Okay. Run for 30 seconds. Easy run. You're not going fast. How far are you? Uh, 50 miles. Halfway there. Halfway there. Looking good. Thank you. With my brother John as the pacer, we started going and picking up the miles a little bit, but this second part of the course is more hillier. So whenever we did reach those hills, I slowed down pretty good amount. I tried to pick it up, but I was getting tired every time we did push forward. I was getting a little bit more tired and my paces were definitely slowing as we hit the aid station.
like this. Tailwind. Decaf or regular? Uh, regular. Okay. Here we go. I got you right here. Mr. Jeremy, how you feeling? Good. You getting tired though? Yeah. Probably with the drinkers. Oh, no, you probably don't remember me, Chris. I do remember you, Trevina. Yeah. How's it going, man? It's going good. You had the frozen, uh, yes, yes. frozen uh, grapes. The grapes. Oh, okay. Uh, th third one? One more. Feeling it, but still, still feeling good. All right, good. You look good. Still running. Keep up with your calorie, man. That's amazing. Yeah, I've been eating a lot. Good, good. Eating, drink, drink, drink. Yeah. Yeah, eating, drink. You need anything else? Anything hot? Mm, no, I'm good. Thank you. I got this. Let's just walk this out. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat this and walk. Look, you're looking good. All right, thank you. All right. Six more miles. During this point, I told my patient, my brother, that I was going to go easy. And I think I needed more of a push. It wasn't my own fault. I didn't tell my pacers I wanted tough love. But that's what I needed to push myself to go harder. Just finishing this loop. Mile 60. Fucking. The end is like super muddy. Oh, God. This is the worst. I actually have 15 minutes. What time the race there? Hi. John, what can we get for you? We have a broth and some potatoes, ramen, okay. boiled potato. Thank you. I'm tired at this point, needing a little bit of break and needing a little bit of motivation. That's where the videos I asked from y'all came into play. Jeremy, I don't know when you're watching this. You could be, you're gonna be wet, tired, sore, hurting, bloody, who knows? It, it, ultra marathons are tough and that's why we sign up to do these. I've been watching your videos for years. You've motivated me. I'm doing a 100 miler myself this July, Burning River. I want to watch this video with you crossing this finish line. Your inspiration, man. Keep pushing one step at a time. Got to tell you, man, you've been a huge, huge influence in my life. Uh, a couple years ago, I'm sitting around the house. I'm out of shape, uh, going through, you know, some health issues and uh, start watching your videos on YouTube. Seeing that you're out there, you know, doing these 50Ks, these 100Ks, and watching you, watching you get through it with the whole running and walking, and you really influenced me, my man. So I started the training. I had never ran over a 5K, and uh, I, I'll never forget the day, the day I started training, man. I ran 100 yards and had to stop and walk. Fast forward, last Memorial Day, I ran my first 50K. Could have never done that without you, uh, without your videos. One step at a time, keep moving forward. One step at a time, just keep moving forward. Uh, relentless forward progress is what you keep saying, so keep that as your mindset, and let's kick this thing's butt. Good luck. Let's go, let's go, come on, come on, let's go. After all that, how could I not be motivated keep going on and push it a little bit harder. I actually did just that. Tony and I, we walked, we ran, and we actually picked up the pace despite the long base station stop. Can you see how much water I have in, in this bottom one? Just unzip that. Yeah. I got a good amount? Oh yeah, you got a good amount in there. Okay, okay. That's good. Are you feeling good? Feeling good. All right. Feeling all right. 
Oh, it's getting close now. <laughs> 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 Alright, we're done. After the A station, Tony and I knew we had to push it in order to finish this race. So we were pushing it up this section. This is a little bit hilly, a lot muddy, and we were going. Run, walk as much as we could. And that's when we hit the turnaround point. So we are at the turnaround point and I looked down, oh, I didn't hear anything click on the chip mat and I have no chip. So I left it at the start line. Now we have to wait. Hopefully we'll get bring it in time. We were, we're, we're behind, well, we're cutting it close. And uh, I don't know, I don't know. So at this point of the race, we didn't know what we were gonna do. I didn't know if I kept on going that because I missed that timing mat and I didn't have my chip on me that I would finish the race and take a DNF anyway or if we could keep going without the mat and show them our GPS data to prove that we did the miles, we weren't sure. So we stopped. I had a blister to take care of anyways, and we completely stopped. I tried calling my brother. He didn't answer his phone. I uh, took care of my blister, uh, called Anna, and she told me that the mats weren't taking times anymore. The mud had affected them and that the mats weren't working, that we should go on. Willie was going to meet me at Nature A Station with my timing chip, and I would get it from him there. But at this point, we had lost all our momentum, and I knew that this was going to be a point of the race where losing five, 10 minutes of my time was going to be something that's going to make me DNF. But after that talk with Anna, she told me to keep going, and we kept going. It was hard. I, I wasn't sure what was going on. It took a while for us to find the motivation to run faster or run at all. But we finally met up with Willie at Nature H Station and that's when he gave me my chip. At this point, I'm dejected. I'm already down and I'm thinking, you know, there's no way I can't finish the race. Even Tony was telling me if I don't start picking up the pace, going a 15, 16 minute mile, that we're gonna DNF. And again, I love Tony. Tony is a great pacer. I paced him for his 100 miler, but I needed somebody to kick me in the butt at that point. I didn't know how much time I had left. I had ultra brain and I needed my pacers to become my brain to tell me what to do, how much more time I had left to keep on going. I think that if I knew I was so close to being able to make the cutoff that I would have pushed on, but it is what it is and that's not what happened and again i take that blame on myself i needed to tell my pacers more clearly what to do but we did keep moving on forward uh, past the nature aid station to go into damnation aid station and that's when i was like you know what there's no point because i can't finish the race anymore let's just dnf right here it's mile 75 there's a shortcut to take to go to the parking lot somebody could pick me up over there brought me back to the finish line it would have been a mile rather than five miles back. And then I looked at my pacer, Tony, and I also looked at a volunteer that actually knew who I was. And she was like, you did the 100K last year, right? And I was like, yes. And I was like, I told her I want a DNF right now. And then she looked at me, Tony looked at me too, and I asked them, what should I do? And they said it was up to me. And that's when I thought about all y'all guys, all you guys motivating me in those videos commenting on my videos to keep moving forward. And that was, that was my whole thing, to keep moving forward. So at that point, I said, F this, let's go. And I left Tony, I left Tony and ran. For what I thought was running, which was actually like a 16 minute mile, which is fast for that point. But I picked it up. I started going through all the puddles, going through the roots, going straight line down, and I picked it up. And at that point I was like, why couldn't I do this earlier? Why do I have the energy now when I thought I was gonna DNF, but now I can keep pushing myself. I was disappointed in myself because I didn't push myself earlier. And that's what I thought about during those last five miles. 
that I could have done better. I just had to push myself harder and I just needed to kick myself in the butt to move forward. As we got closer to the finish line, I had no idea how far I was or how close I was to a DNF. And that's where I videoed myself again towards the finish line. The DNF. You get that. You got it, John? How you huh? doing? You okay? Yeah. A lot of hiking in some mud, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Thank right. you. Hey, way to go and get what you did.